Girls Got a Geek. Today we are doing Ever After High Week. And we have got the original Raven Queen in her original box, in her original face, in her original arm. And she <laughs> has got the San Diego Comic Con exclusive Raven Queen hidden in the box. I don't want to open her. did not open her the right way. Um, you were supposed to open the top up here and then slide it out. Oh, I right. made the mistake of cutting this and then... <laughs> and then pulling the box, her box out this way. Okay, so here they both are in their boxes, you know. <laughs> She's just a face. Sadly, I mean, I think they could have done a whole. Oh, I really like how they did this. Cause it's still like a mystery. Like, oh, what's inside the package? What's inside the box? And then there is a story on the sure, back. Show them. Yeah, it's a tease. Um, and then there's a little story on the back, which is really, really good. The writers did an amazing, phenomenal job at um, writing this. So please take the time in reading the story, cause it is well worth it. And here. She is with the glare on her. I think she's gonna come in slowly. She's do got the glares. Look how photo bomb. <laughs> Look how pretty she is. Oh, oh, glare, glare. She's so beautiful. And then here is the back of her box, which is even more amazing. I hope that's not too glary for you guys to see. I can't see. It's fine. And there's more of the story on the back. Um, I, I don't want to open her. I do. I know you do, but you can't play with her. She's not a play with doll. She's a looking at doll. That's the reason why I don't want to take her out of her box. Do you want to show your hand? Yeah. So here's the side of the box. No, not as exciting as hers. <laughs> uh, it has her name down here. It says Daughter of the Evil Queen. And then it's got a little rebel sign. And here she is in her box. It's got that after how I love sticker. Uh, and the back of the box just tells stuff about her, like what she likes to eat and her friends. What does she like to eat? Oh, uh, I, think I think that was just a monster hat. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that one doesn't Um. So, are you ready to take them out of the box? Yeah. Ah, I don't want to take her out of the box. Tradesies. No, Tradesies. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, we're going to take them out of the box and then we'll be right back. And they're out of their boxes. <laughs> That was like the hardest thing that I've ever done. Like, Asha just ripped and tore into her uh, Wisp and Valentine and was just like, I don't know. Like, it was just a normal doll. And like, her, I had such a hard time, like, opening her and getting her out and trying to, like, save everything so I could put her back in because, I don't know. Okay, so do you want to go ahead and review your original Raven? You want me to go first? Okay, she is absolutely gorgeous. We are just so in love with her. Like, I see why people don't take them out of the boxes. But she's just so beautiful. Like, I, I can't stop staring at her. Like, her makeup, her eyelashes, everything about her is just absolutely stunning. So there she is. And so we'll talk about her now. She's got this beautiful little headpiece on. It's got like some spikes up here and then it's got like the skull of a raven. Um, and then her cowl is purple and black feathers, which um, 
is attached to her arms and then goes all the way around her neck and her head. Um, her headpiece is all one piece as a headdress and this comes down and it's got like raven wings on it and then another little raven skull right here which is really really and then her makeup is absolutely gorgeous. It's teal eyeshadow with sparkles, and then she's got real eyelashes, and then her signature purple lipstick. And then her dress is super, super pretty. Um, it's got like a Fleur de Lis design on it, um, and it's black, and it's got like little shimmery parts for the whole design. And then um, on her arms, they're separate. You could take these off, but um, I don't know what you would call these. Arm drapes? <laughs> I don't know. But they've got feathers on them. It's kind of sheer see-through. And it's really, really pretty. It's a very nice detail. Uh, her hair is just in a ponytail, um, and it's tucked back here. But it's purple and black, and it's got a little bit of metallic pieces spun through it. And then she's got two little braids, and they are heavily gelled, but I don't mind because I want to keep her as perfect as possible. And then her dress down here is just kind of like the raggedy look, and then it comes down in this pretty sparkly tool. She did come with just a regular Ever After High base. Um, and then she's got these really cool shoes. I'm going to take her off her base. And here are her shoes. They're gorgeous. I really like her apple. Yes. I haven't got to the apple yet. I was saving that for last. Um, but her shoes are just feathers and it looks like it's got some chains on it. Uh, I am a little disappointed that her toes aren't painted. Uh, the Legacy Day Raven, her toes were painted and I don't understand why they didn't take the time to do that. I think that was just a little, an extra touch that they could have added to the design of the doll. Um, and then she has her apple here and it looks like a skull. It's metallic red. Um, and then on the only jewelry that she has on is her little wrist and ring cuff combo. And it's just the silver. Um, but she's absolutely gorgeous. She's beautiful. I am so happy that I got her. Um, they did a phenomenal job on this doll. She's wonderful. I think. The only thing that I'm disappointed about is that her toes aren't painted, but that's that's it. Everything else is just absolutely gorgeous. Do you like her? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, she's wearing that headpiece, which is jewelry, the only necklace is, and you said the only jewelry she has. Well, and this is like all one piece. It's like a head and a neck cowl headdress. I guess it's a headdress. The feathers are in her cowl. Um, and she does have the real eyelashes, which I really, really like. She doesn't have earrings on either. I don't know. But here's the Legacy Day Raven, I think is absolutely gorgeous. She's my favorite. Um, Triplet! And Asher let me have her because she is my most, most favorite. There's tons and tons of details on her. I'm not going to go into it because this isn't the Legacy Day Raven show. But her toes are painted a very pretty purple, and I think that they should have added that to. They're all triplets. Gotta line them up in a row. Well, we will at the very end, but I'm gonna let Asha do her review. I'm gonna put her right there. Okay, so here's Raven. She's got this little fly catcher in it. If you went back and watched our Monster High, uh, Abby Bob and the Ball <laughs> Sweet Screams video, you would understand what I just said. Uh, and so she's got this little thing, uh, like crown. On her head, and then like her two little things that like, pull back on her hair, like po po to popping up, and I don't know, it's weird. It looks weird. Um, it's like a spiky headband. Yeah, but like this, this thing right here is her hair. I think it's really pretty. I don't know, it's like popping up. Um, and so then she has this little uh, wrist thing with the ring on it, and she has a. Uh, this really pretty like jewel thing right in the middle of her fly catcher mitt thing. Um, and then she has this really pretty uh, top on. Uh, it's like 
green and purple. You can't really see it in the camera, but it like, gets very shiny and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, it's like black and then it's got like green like spun through it. It's really pretty. Um, and then she has this little uh, belt with like, it looks like an elephant on the top. Are their shoes the same? They're very similar. Well, they didn't even bother painting the, the silver. Oh my gosh, are they the same? I think they are. Hers doesn't have the feathers on this. Yes, they do too. They're the exact same shoes, except for they did not paint the chains on the fronts of these. What? Um, and the details, she... people, details. We appreciate them. Uh, she has this really pretty, uh, Thing, and it's like the color purple on the top part. You can't see through, but the rest you can. It's like kind of shooting up right here, which is weird. So I'm gonna like make her hand hold that. Okay, there, that's better. <laughs> um, and then she has this little net tight on. Uh, and then her shoes, which yeah, are the same showed, shoe? so same they, shoes, except for hers are painted silver. The chains are. And then she's got an all silver stand. And yeah, so that was the original Raven. Oh, and her hair is just black and purple. Mm -hmm. So here is Comic Con 2015 exclusive Raven Triplets, Queen. Triplets. Ah. <laughs> She's getting crowded. Okay. And here is original Friends. So let us know what you guys think of our Raven. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yeah, she came with a little clutchy purse. And a clutchy. <laughs> Clutch purse. Uh, clutch. Um, and it looks like it has a little mirror on it, but I think it's not actually a mirror. It's just. Yeah, so that was her purse. I just. I, I, it fell off, and then I, I was trying to remember to check Make sure to leave a comment down below, give us a thumbs up, press that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks Bye. for watching. Bye! Bye. No more verse, no more rhyme, no more permanent ink. This is not what you think, it's a